Okay, I thought it was recording, but it's not. Okay. I have vanished for a little bit, but I am back. Um, while I was on my little break, or this has gone on before this, but um, I started watching Criminal Minds, right? And I went through a phase, like, not too long ago that I wanted to be a profiler, a forensic profiler, and I know that it takes a long time in college, like, I'm gonna have to be in there a while, but it'll be worth it. Um, but anyway, I was at the library looking for some true crime books, and I found some good ones. I'll talk about those in a different video after I've read them, but, um, they had a little bitty pegboard. It wasn't big. It was small, and it really worried me because there were three missing reports, missing persons reports. And it really irks me because they don't get circulated enough. And, um, I live in the South, so missing persons aren't taken seriously. Um, I know people personally that their sons or daughters have been, have been missing. And all the police tell them to do is fill out a file and that's it. They can't do anything more. And it's so bad. So I'm going to be giving out missing persons from the FBI.gov um, website. And I know these are a little outdated. Some of them are. But they deserve a voice. Uh, okay. So the first one, I'll put a picture up right now. Uh, this one made me upset because uh she's just a kid uh her she was born in 2012 she's only what five uh she was in she was born in california her hair is brown her eyes are brown her height is approximately three feet at the time of disappearance weight is approximately 45 pounds at the time of disappearance her sex is female, race is white, Hispanic, nationality is American. She was last seen in the company of her parents in March of 2015 in Oxnard, California. Both parents have been uncooperative with the investigation to her disappearance and are currently in custody for failing to produce Kimberly. She is believed to, to either be still be in California or possibly in Mexico, specifically the areas of Tijuana, Las Reyes, Mexicoan or Guaj Guadalajara. Yeah. Sorry if I said those really wrong. Okay. <coughs> the next one. Let's see. 2015. Not 2015. What, whatever. Shut up. Don't judge me. I'm trying to help here. Okay. This is taking a while. Okay, the next one is Lashia Stein. I'll put her picture up right here. Um, date of birth is February 8th, 2000. Long black hair, usually worn in a bun. Brown, she's 5'6", 150 pounds at the time of her disappearance. Her sex is female, race is black, scars and marks. She has a scar, quarter-sized round scar, on her chest. On the day of her disappearance, Lashio was seen was last seen wearing a black V-neck t-shirt, black stonewashed jeans, silver hoop earrings, and a silver watch on her left arm. Lashia, wait, on July fifteenth, two thousand sixteen, Lashia Stein left her residence in Aurora, in Aurora, Colorado, around two a.m. She was last seen in the area of E. Montview Boulevard and North Peora Street in the early morning hours. Scheduled for a job interview on the 16th, but never arrived. She has not made any attempts to contact family members or friends since she has been gone. So, let's see. This is a lot. Okay. Next we have Enrique Rios. I'll put his picture here. 
Uh, date of birth is January 2nd, 2000. Hair is brown, eyes are brown, height is 5'7", weight is 140, sex is male, race is white Hispanic. The FBI is offering a reward of up to $5,000 for information leading up to the return of him. Um, a male from Esparto, California was reported missing by his mother on October 19th, 2016. Enrique was last seen at 9 p.m. in his family's home on October 16th. His disappearance was initially treated as a runaway because no information or evidence suggested foul play. Enrique, Enrique Rios and Elijah Moore are friends who both attended Cesar Chavez Community School in Woodland, California. They van vanished 25 days apart with little evidence to indicate where they went to, went or who, if anyone they may be with. Be with. Um, and the next is Elijah. put his picture up right now. Uh, dates of birth used is November 3rd, 1999. Hair is black, eyes are brown, height, height is 5'11", weight is 200, sex is male, race is black. Uh, Moore has a burn scar on his left hand. And a reward is up to $5,000 for his return. Um, he was last seen wearing a black hooded sweatshirt, a yellow shirt, khaki pants, and tan work boots. He also carried a green backpack. Uh, he's from Woodland, California. Reported missing by his mother on Monday, November 6, 2016. She had not seen or heard from her son since Friday, November 4th. On that date, Elijah attended school and later cashed a check at California Check Cashing at, located at 115 Main Street in Woodland, where he was last seen. And Enrico is friends with Elijah, was, are, um, <clears throat> the next is Tina Marie Finley, I'll put her picture up here, her birth is August 25th, er, 25th 1962, uh, born in Washington, hair is brown, eyes are brown, height is 5'6", weight is 135, sex is female, race is Native American. The FBI is offering a reward up to $10,000 for the information leading to her location. Marie Finley, a 25-year-old member of the Coeur d'Alene, De Idaho, tribe of Indians, has been missing since March 8th. 1988, last seen in Plummer, Idaho, and was reported missing days later. This investigation su suggests she may be the victim of foul play. The music in the background does not fit for this, I'm so sorry. It was playing, okay. Okay, our last one that comes up in the 2017 tab is Paul Edwin Overby Jr. Born on November 27th, 1942. Uh, born in Illinois, USA. Hair is white, eyes are hazel. Height, height is 5'9", weight is 170 pounds. Sex is male, race is white. Uh, occupation is a freelance Arthur. Nationality is American, languages, English, Pashto, and German. Um, he suffers from an inner ear canal uh, ailment that requires cheap treatment and medicine. Uh, he was last seen in Coast City, Afghanistan in mid-May of 2014 while conducting research in furtherance of a self-authored book. Okay. So basically... What I is this okay? What I wanted to do by making this video was to spread awareness because missing people have horrible help 
and like I don't know part of me says that this is illegal but like I know it's not illegal because it's on the website whatever um but if you have any information about them you know obviously contact um, your local FBI office or the nearest American embassy or places like that um It just sucks. <laughs> the government sucks. Um, well, that sounds ironic, considering I want to work for the government, but um, I don't know. I guess I can't really change the whole government. <laughs> but, yeah. So, if you have any information, whatever, uh, obviously I just said that, but talk to your local FBI office. Um, I'll put a list of local FBI offices in the states down below. Okay, bye.